On many of your videos on the internet, people are often crying, mm. sometimes uncontrollably. Is this not just an attempt to make a person have an emotional experience so that they are no longer logical? Definitely not. In fact, uh, my feelings are, from my own experience, that whenever I've let go of emotions that are from my childhood, I've become a more logical person. Mm -hmm. So what I'm trying to encourage people to do is to let go of what are often called by um, you know, psychologists and psychiatrists, um, the hidden emotions or, or what they often classify as, what's the term they use, um, you know, subconscious emotions. Yeah. Um, I don't feel anything is really subconscious, but, but I feel that these kind of emotions govern to a large deg degree the illogical behaviour of people in their day-to-day -day life. And what they need to do is release these emotions in order to grow. Mm -hmm. So what I'm encouraging people to do is to actually connect with and release those emotions. Now, sometimes in a seminar, a person asks me a personal question, and so I give them a personal answer, which I know to be true about their personal life. And that causes them to go immediately into feeling about their personal life. So they start connecting with the hurt child's feelings about their child life, mm -hmm. and they allow themselves to cry about it. And I, while, while I think that's wonderful that they've connected to such emotions, I don't believe it's very loving of them to stay in the audience while they feel them. Yep. I feel it would be more loving for them to actually leave the audience and have a good cry outside or sob uncontrollably outside because while they're sobbing uncontrollably inside, they are affecting a large group of people around them. So yeah. I don't even agree with them staying in the audience while they're sobbing yep. uncontrollably. My suggestion to them is, right, you've connected to the emotion now, go and feel it. Let yourself go somewhere in private and feel what you now feel. Because all I did was make a statement of truth that triggered that feeling. All they need to do now is allow themselves to feel that feeling in a safe environment. And then an audience with 200 other people is not a, a great environment in order to feel. Mm -hmm. And it's also not loving to the 200 people for you to feel everything in front of them um, and have them impacted by your feelings, and particularly if it's very noisy. So you don't endorse public, dis um, cathartic kind of no, uh, not at all. Displays of In emotion. fact, I feel it's very fake. Yeah. Um, I feel public cathartism uh, is not possible. In fact, yeah. the, the only way that you can have a really cathartic release of emotionally is by doing it privately. And, and, and while I'm saying things to people that cause them to connect to such emotions, um, I hope that they are loving to, their, to others and themselves and that they go and do and feel that emotion in private, yeah. which is what I've done all my life. Yeah. And I've never done that publicly. There are times when I connect emotionally publicly, but I don't have nice big cathartic release, releases where I'm uncontrollable in front of groups of people because I don't feel it's loving to them. Mm -hmm. to do such a thing. I do that in my private life, as you yeah. know. So, yeah. so, so what I'm encouraging is what I do. Yeah. To, uh, and when people stay in the audience or stay in a seminar, having these uncontrollable emotional sobs uh, without any consideration of the audience, the rest of the audience, then I feel that's a bit unloving, in fact. I have to say within this question, I mean, there are people in our it's very uncommon for someone to have a huge uncontrolled release of emotion. Of course, yes. They have uh, usually direct connections with a little bit of a dribble. And, and I think sometimes people are so afraid of emotions that they then call that an uncontrolled crying fit when course, someone yeah. is, when you know, had cries. A, has had a two-minute cry. A little yeah. weep and blows their nose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think also this question indicates the level of judgment there is about emotion Certainly. in the broader community or in the public Certainly. and the feeling that tears make a person illogical. Yes, and that's not true. In fact, if yeah. anybody, anybody who's truly felt their tears will know that every time they've actually felt their tears afterwards, they've been more logical and more certain about the course of action they should take, not less. Yeah. So it's actually quite, um, you know, it's quite false of people who make these accusations to say that I'm manipulating people in order to make them less logical mm. when they themselves know through their own experience that every time they've released an emotion and had a good cry, afterwards they've become more logical and they know what to do. Yeah.
So, you know, it's a, it's a false accusation driven by media hype, I feel. Yeah, and I suppose the only way a person, it, we discussed this in a previous question, the only way a person could be manipulated in their emotion is if you were somehow manipulating them to feel false emotion or to yes, avoid no, true agree. emotion. Yeah, or, and I don't yeah. agree with any of those courses of actions. You know, I don't want them to feel anything that they don't have to feel. Yeah. And I also don't want them to feel anything as a fake expression in order to get approval. Yeah. They need, the, I know, and the, and, and the reason why I know is because I know with God, the God's laws and rules are that at the end of the day, unless you're feeling the real thing, then it's of no benefit to you. Yeah. So, so why would I encourage other people to not feel the real thing? Of course I'm not going to. So I feel that certainly I am encouraging people to connect emotionally. In fact, if they don't connect emotionally, they will never have a relationship with anyone, let alone God. Mm -hmm. you, need to be, you need to be connected emotionally to have a relationship with your partner, to have a relationship with your children, to have a relationship with God, and in fact to have a relationship with anything else, including a job or any other thing that's inanimate. Yep. You need to be able to be connected emotionally to it in order to have some kind of real relationship with it. And so being, being an emotional being is an essential part of the human soul, and that's why we've created a whole series of FAQs about the human soul, talking about the necessity of people to become more emotional, con emotionally connected. We're not suggesting that the uncontrolled uh, sort of delivery of emotion to the rest of the world is actually the right thing to do. No. That's not what I'm suggesting at all, because if you have an uncontrolled uh, expression of your rage, you'll go and murder somebody, and that's certainly not what I'd like to see anybody do. <laughs> you need to uh, feel these emotions in the privacy of your own home, usually, yep. in your own space so that you can develop. This is what you need to do if you're ever going to have a connection with yourself or a connection with the environment or a connection with God or a connection with any other person. Yeah. So I feel it's an essential part of our progress. But, uh, but of course, I don't try to manipulate people through those particular connections. Mm.